Dot travelled the last one, set and racing away. 2,600 metres. Danamakwa Blossom began well. Wider up, go Flickety. is going off for the lead here. Rosie Lemon is fighting with the rider in the early stages. Ideal Futures racing fourth with Go Dream Machine right up alongside and three lengths further back to Dark Travel and Pacific Express. And there's about seven lengths that cover them as they run the first 400 metres and go down towards the 2,200 metre start and out in front is Go Flickety, led it by just over a length here from Rosie Lemon, who's not completely settled in second. Namaqua Blossom in the orange is third, followed by Go Dream Machine and Ideal Futures on the rail. Three lengths cover them. Behind that is Dark Travel, racing back second from last, and Pacific Express will have to get past them all to win, and is about seven lengths off them now as they head down the back straight and to cross the road over there. Approach now the last 1,800 metres, and Go Flickety still led it by a length and a half here from Rosie Lemon and the Macqua Blossom. No change in that order. Go Dream Machine is firmly back in fourth position behind that ideal future. As the front one starts to get away, Go Flickety now skipped about three, four lengths clear up in front. But the Macqua Blossom is quick to the task to improve uh, to race only three lengths off them now. So Go Flickety led it down the back straight by three. The Macqua Blossom second. Rosie Lemon and ideal future with Go Dream Machine. Down along the inside, the checkered cap of Pacific Express races with dark travel in the pink sleeves, or rather the blue sleeves and pink cap, is racing about six lengths off the leader. So no one's really shown their hand here as they go to the furthest part of the track and they've got uh, 1,200 metres left to run. And Go Flickety is trying to do it start to finish with Keegan DeMello up, led by three. Namaqua Blossom second, Rosie Lemon is third, then Ideal Future and Go Dream Machine. Further back to Pacific Express, five, six lengths to make up and Dark Travel has uh, set anchor in at the back end of the field with Gavin Larina up. As they now come up to the top of the elbow, they've got 800 to go. And here is Go Flickety by two and a half with Namaqua Blossom poised to strike with Rosie Lemon behind that ideal future. Then comes uh, Go Dream Machine, Pacific Express, still five off them. And Dark Travel still being sat on at the back end of the field will angle to the centre of the track as they come down to the home turn now. They've got just over 500 to go and Go Flickety's asked to give more here, led by two. But Namaqua Blossom is starting to make big inroads now. And here comes Namaqua Blossom outside of Go Flickety. They've kicked away three lengths from Rosie Lemon, Ideal Future and Go Dream Machine as they head on down into the last 250. And Namaqua Blossom picks up Go Flickety down the inside who tries to rally back. Now it's Namaqua Blossom at Go Flickety. It's coming right back at her. Go Flickety is coming back at Namaqua Blossom and Go Flickety has got back to the lead. And it's Go Flickety that got up to beat Namaqua Blossom. They went three lengths clear of Ideal Future, Go Dream Machine, Rosie Lemon. They hardly changed position the whole way throughout the 2,600 metre race over here. Here's where it gets tight um, with Go Flickety starting to uh, run outwards and then Namaqua Blossom starts to run inwards. They do make contact on a couple of occasions here and I think that whatever mightn't have happened there, that Go Flickety would still have got the race. That's my personal opinion, but um, it may be subject to a race review. Let's wait and see what happens. But Go Flickety has crossed the line first ahead of Namaqua Blossom in second and there's about a head in it at the line here in race number six. Number three, Go Flickety has come through to win for the Gavin Finzel stable. Well done to all of the owners involved here in Lemon Scroll Stud and another top ride there by Keegan DeMello. You've in fact ridden this horse three times and all three excellent runs, so you get on well with us. Yes, look, um, after the Maidens, uh, I wasn't quite sure where she'd go from there, but uh, since she's been in the half house, she's really strengthened and uh, she's doing a lot of things right. And uh, when you see a win like that, it makes it all a lot, the, the smiles on people's faces a lot better. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, she's improving all the while and... Uh, Obviously, Mr. Van Zell and his team have got her in the right space of mind to go the trip, and uh, that always helps. Now, the rain's been playing a bit of a havoc uh, with our racing, but uh, we're back on track now, and we can get going. Yeah, look, nice to be back. I'm um, obviously um, riding one or two horses that need the runs a little bit, like that Philly Rarotango Rose. I thought she might have needed the run a little bit. She made a run to win it, and uh, she didn't go through with it. So, at this stage, I think a few people are scratching their heads and don't know where their horses are, but um, nice that we're back racing, and uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's, mm. So, um, yeah, just look forward to the, the rest of the week. Well done. Thank you very much. Just well done to Mr. Van Zell and his team down here.
Great training feat. Uh, thank you very much to Mr. Banda, Mr. Murphy, and the rest of the partners. Big well done to all of them. And thank you very much for the opportunities. And uh, to my sponsors, Winning Form once again, thank you very much. Thanks, Keegan. Thank you. Well done, Keegan Amello, yep, the leading uh, jock in the country. Gavin, you know all about jockeyship, and uh, that was a nice ride there. The horse just kept on, kept on staying on again. Yes, um, it's, it's exactly that, you know. Um, she's a filly that has been coming from behind. And I was worried that if there was no pace coming from behind would be a problem. But I didn't tie King it down and he just used his own initiative and she came out well. And, you know, he was always going to then judge the pace and he judged it beautifully. And uh, I have to compliment Keegan on a fantastic ride. And, uh, you know, he's just going from strength to strength as a jockey. And I suppose we'll lose him to Hong Kong one of these days. <laughs> and uh, Don't go. That'll, that'll be sad. But it's also they've got to look after themselves. It's wonderful. It's, South Africa is a wonderful um, breeding ground for for our jockeys to go and make themselves a very good living overseas. And, um, yeah, let's hope we can carry on filtering through, um, you know, more good ones. But I, I don't know how long Keegan will last year, but uh, nevertheless, while he's here, we're going to enjoy him. And, uh, you know, it's just a fantastic ride. And this filly, well done to the owners, Clive Murphy, Errol Budlinder, and uh, Rishan, and, of course, some of the guys with me in, 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 in behind the Team G, uh, Selvin, and also um, uh, Dina. Uh, it's just so wonderful for them to to have a have a winner like this with this filly. She just get, get, you know she's get, she's going from strength to strength, yeah. and she's maturing and furnishing. She was she looked something like a sausage dog as a two year old, <laughs> and uh, you know there was no gut, mm. and uh, she really didn't. And now she's just coming into herself and she's holding her, her condition. And, um, yeah, just a wonderful win, and, uh, yeah, we're quite excited about that. No, she's no sausage dog anymore, is she? Well done. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Is the owner going to come in, Gavin, or is he, he going to, you spoke on his behalf, did you? The owner. Is that not the owner? I just wanted to, I wanted to say my, my, my uncle, Frank, oh. you know, he's, him and I are best friends, although he's 80 and I'm 63, um, we've been best friends as uncles, you know, he's, he's been my, my dad's brother and the two of us have been close all our lives and it was just wonderful for him to lead in a winner with me today and uh, have him on course and uh, just a, a pleasure to be with Uncle Frank. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Well done. That was an excellent win there. And again, I'm afraid the same thing's happened. Uh, our pads are, you know, probably younger guys. But anyway, it's coming up here. A very good win and very good ride by Keegan Amello. I actually did chat to uh, Raymond Danielson and he says, unfortunately, your favourite does that. Gets to the front there and then almost wants to stop and have to stop that uh, trade for number two, Nuweko Blossom. So your numbers here, three, two, eight and seven. That is race number six.